Uh, Dr. Hogan's going to now give the accountability report. Uh, this time, uh, he's going to focus on how we are about to set targets for the measures that are in the accountability report and our strategic goals. So I'll kind of explain to you the interplay between uh, the measures, the targets, and the strategic goals. Yes, uh, we've got some few pieces of data back for the next round of the accountability report. We're going to start reporting in those, uh, some of the goals that we're setting for the college. We'll show that to you. These are the college's goals, you're familiar with those. Uh, but I want to orient you to how we're thinking about uh, setting our goals and our targets that we want to hit um, in the years to come. So, for each of the strategic goals, like student success, there's going to be multiple measures of that familiar with graduation rate, transfer rate, retention rate. So there's multiple ways of assessing how well we're moving in the direction of achieving the strategic goal. You know that we use a lot of publicly available data from the ICCB and from the uh, federal government. We're also one of the founding members of the VFA, the AACC's reporting mechanism, and we use those data. And we communicate that to you through the accountability report. So with that, we are able to set targets in comparison with our peer groups. So the strategic goals will uh, will have measures of those like graduation and transfer and then particular targets that we're trying to hit uh, within each of those measures. So when we set them, you know, we have all these different measures, the federal ones as well as the state, but most of these are going to be set against our peer group, the eight colleges in northeastern Illinois that are most like us, like Harper and Oakland, DuPage. And when we set the target, when we're below average, we want to get up to average. Within uh, about a three-year window is what we're going to try to achieve. So here's what that might look like. Our retention rate right now is about 14%. So if we set the target, we're shooting for getting up to 15%, an achievable goal. Um, and then from this, we can set uh, operational units about the work of trying to get us there through the work that they do. Once we get there, we don't want to stop and rest on our laurels, but then we want to try to achieve uh, uh, premiership among our peer group to be at the average of the three best in our surrounding area. So that's what this would look like. Our graduation rate has met the average from some of the work that we've been doing over the last few years. You know, we were much lower not very long ago, and with uh, a lot of effort, we're up to peer average. Now we have to stretch ourselves to get among the three bets, to get to that average. And we'd have to get up to about 28% graduation rate. And once we get there, the, we set the new target to be among the best in the country. So uh, with graduation rate, that would, we, if we get to that point where we're achieving among the best in our class, we'd have to get up to about 37% graduation rate, to be among the top third in the country. So, to summarize, uh, we will be comparing ourselves, as you know, against our peers. When we hit that average part, we move forward. We are in continuous improvement to strive to be among the best in our class. And then once we get there, we strive to be among the leading uh, institutions in the country. Sean, yes. on the, the previous slide, that 38%, was that just for community colleges across the country? Yes, this came from the AACC. Great, thank you. So no time frame on that um, That's goal. a little more, yeah, yeah right so now a little more. more, more ambitious. <clears throat> bigger. Then, then you get to uh, try to figure out how to get those, those new benchmarks. Some of those with those highest uh, rates, um, we were talking about that at our uh, cabinet meeting, really some of the ones with the highest rates, they're in systems where they do have access to baccalaureate degrees or partnerships right next to them with universities and some other things, so we'd have to look at that. But it gives you a, a sense of how we try to move forward. And some, as I, I think as Sean said there, sometimes we might say, well, we could get this in a year or two years. It might take three years, so we'd set a time target to work towards. But something like that might be five years if it's a high target. Then what you'll see in the future with the accountability report 
as we rework it next, you'll see targets on all these goals, and we'll be sharing those with the faculty, and we talked to and, and the staff so they have a sense of them. And then, uh, so we talked about working on those so folks can have a common sense with them. Can I ask how you arrived at this? Because I'm wondering about buy-in. I mean, was this a collaborative effort that came up with these kind of time frames? Because I'm wondering if there's going to be any resistance to what you're set, setting out here, or if this is already a result of collaboration. You've had dialogue with the organization about this. Yeah, so everybody's like, okay with all this. I think we're ready to go ahead with this. We wanted to get your, uh, we wanted to present this to you first, but Sean <coughs> has talked to the faculty senate and talked to other groups, et cetera. Um, and of course, this data has been out there for years. Actually, we've had this data about our performance out there for years. I have a question. Um, these appear to be somewhat soft goals. What if you don't achieve these goals? I mean, we talked about buy-in and stuff, but uh, is there any, from an accountability standpoint, what if you don't achieve these goals? Do you Want me to answer that? Yeah. Would you like to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think these goals, if we, if we at the board approve them, mm -hmm. we have to say so to do that, of course. This is what we hold the president accountable. These are our goals to him, whoever, and uh, we hold that person accountable. Uh, it's probably not the right question, maybe to ask Sean, but uh, uh, we hold the president responsible okay. for these goals. And, you, and then likewise, we hold the, you know, I'd go. Well, no, but, we're but what, well, ultimately, any, any goal, <laughs> yeah, right, but any goal like that, ultimately, you, we talked about yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, that buck is coming you know, fast. Yeah. yeah, but, I mean, you can think about them in terms of this sort of, you know, oh, what happens, but really, the best part of these is to create a dialogue and ask why. I mean, you really want to ask folks, okay, why didn't we get another raise in our retention rate? And then try to dig into the data and go down and find out where that is. And that's really where the answer is. It isn't so much in trying to get people to comply, because people want to do better. They just need to understand, you know, where it is and how we can move forward in a positive way. I mean. Sean, might I uh, <laughs> uh, also suggest that it's possible uh, I guess I'd like to see us be a, a, a little bit more aggressive when I when I see a, a target for an increase of one percent. Uh, that doesn't uh, uh, that doesn't years. indicate three over years. yeah over three years. That certainly to me doesn't indicate that we're going to spend a lot of time and effort uh, if we're only looking at a one percent increase. So if it's possible, I guess I'd like to see some of that beefed up a bit. Well, I'm looking at it and thinking, especially knowing you that this is like a first foray out and everybody's expecting meets or exceeds to happen quickly and that your goal really is to do better than this and yeah, that right. this is just setting this because <coughs> this seems reasonable and what what this does is create awareness of where everyone is and that's the that's what this is knowledge is power but that you're when I see those time frames, I think, oh, no, you're going to beat those. I mean, that's clearly the goal. At first, when you started talking, I thought, wait, you want to be better than that, don't you? But then, once you explained it, I thought, well, of course you do, and so you are. But that I think that's true in the time frames, too. I mean, I think that, yeah, it looks soft, but it's like where you, you have to start reasonably with the numbers. Mm -hmm. And so this is this is what we have with the numbers. But, but you're going to meet or exceed. I mean, that's the goal, isn't it? It yeah. is. Yeah, absolutely. Continue higher progress. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Thanks. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, that leaves us to uh, Ken Gotch, who and, and really the administrative report, which essentially is on page one, the tuition discussion. So if you have any comments, I think a couple things we wanted to mention. The value of the increase that was last year, which was a $6 increase, $5 for tuition, $1 for a technology fee, was about $1.4 million, correct? Yeah, $1.4 million. And if you recall, that kind of equated maybe 20 positions if we had to do layoffs to meet that number. Yeah. So, uh, 
Uh, we're looking at right now uh, what you approved last year was another six dollars, but we'll wait until February when we know more and take up the discussion for finance review. Okay. But, but there have been articles in the last few weeks I've been reading about tuition might be getting to the point where in community colleges mm -hmm. where students can't afford it anymore. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. It's gotten to that level where. Even now, community colleges have having trouble attracting uh, students that are, are financially challenged. So, hopefully, we keep an eye on that. Yep. Which is exactly why we asked to hold off on the increase in tuition until we have a better and clearer picture of where we're at. And uh, hopefully, by February, we will. But you're right. It's yeah. getting to that point. And we're getting very concerned. <coughs> well, we may take an opportunity to introduce a new controller who's here tonight. Uh, Connie Kravitz, sure. uh, we, sure. we, we, we approved her at the last meeting. She's this is her second week on the job. <laughs> and Connie's taking over Andy Williams' assignments, in particular the financial modeling. And so she's anxious to get ready for the February board retreat. But I just wanted to briefly introduce you to her. Welcome. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. We'll see where we're at. Yep. Uh, so finally, again, I just want to wish the Board of Trustees, College of Lake County faculty and staff, and everyone happy holidays and a safe, enjoyable new year. And that concludes my report, Dr. Griffin. Okay.